All right, hi Darren. Um, since we are working with Blipbox, I'm gonna load that. Since you want to use Hammerhead as your MIDI source, we're gonna take use Hammerhead, we're gonna lower its volume or mute it, whichever you prefer. Um, then up at the top right at the MIDI routing, um, I route the MIDI into Blipbox. I always use this MIDI routing. I never ever click up at the top of the app and then say MIDI inputs and MIDI outputs because fuck that. It's just, this is very clear. Something comes in, uh, it leaves at the top and goes into the right and you can just sort of keep, you know, doing it. So I just prefer this. It makes sense to me and it's straightforward. So Hammerhead's muted. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a kick which we now don't hear. What well, we do hear. So if we open up Blipbox now, we're gonna see it hits on note 49, but we actually need it to hit, well, we don't need it to hit on 35, but I'm gonna see what happens if I hit it on note 35. And the way I would do that is if I go to Blipbox, there's two ways to do this in Blipbox. Um, one is within AUM, I liked, I use this a lot, this transpose. And if I bring up Blipbox um, and we do that at the same time, we'll see it moving. So if I hit the single arrow, it'll go down one semitone. Of course, this is a pain to show you. There, it went down to 48, 47. So, a faster way might be to hit the uh, full uh, 12 semitones, the, the one on the left. That'll take us down to 14, and that's it. I just went to 14, it, it starts on 35. So the other way you could have done it in um, Blipbox is you can say what the starting note is, root note 35. So that's another way to have done it. You could change it that way. Um, so now that I have that set up, as hitting on the first note. If I go now to snare and I put it on the next note. So the snare is on 37. Um, the clap is on 40, I guess. So I'm just, I'm just putting them on different notes so I can see it hitting. So we're missing some of the things. I don't know if that's because Hammerhead uh, doesn't um, hit those pads. I don't know. Um, but you can see each instrument here. There's less instruments than there are pads in Blipbox. So I'm not 100% sure how I'd fix that. Probably need some like MIDI transformation thing or just maybe transpose. So now that I've got them hitting on different um, beats like this, I could do what I did before, which is just use that transpose, and if I go down one semitone, now I'm gonna hit different things, different numbers. And we're not hearing any difference, and the reason is because in Blipbox, um, I'm on the startup sound, and they all sound the same, but watch if I switch to a different preset. Now they all sound different. Um, so if I go back to the transpose, I can sort of just you know figure out which ones I want to hit okay so I think that covers the first part for you how do you make it make sounds you just use the MIDI routing and you route hammerhead in the blip box you mute hammerhead so that it's not playing sounds and you um, transpose the root note of lip box by using this transpose. Um, negative 14 works pretty well for me. Your mileage may vary. Um, and the last thing I think you asked was how do you do um, multi out? So if I create another audio channel and I say multi, go to the instrument slot and go multi button, you can make you can make a second channel and you know you can just keep duplicating these as for as many as you need um and it'll iterate the number you can see it says two three four five just like in koala and you can just keep duplicating until you get all the ones you need um and then if you go to blipbox 
if you click on the three dots at the top right, there is a multi out. You just have to turn it on. So let's do that and see what happens. We're not hearing the other instruments because I didn't create the channels. Let's keep making them and see. There's a lot of channels in Blue Box, so good luck. Um, you know, and if we're not using them, like every other one we're not using, so like two we're not using, you can change two to be a different number. So, nine. let's try ten. There you go. So, four is not being used, I think, so we can make four be twelve. Eleven. Maybe, oh, there we go, 13. Five's not being used. Let's try 14. 15. There we go. Uh, six is being used. Seven's not being used. Let's try the last count. Let's see what we get. There's anything else. But, I'll delete it. There you go.